Hi everyone, what is actually happening in ASEAN region right now? Well, here is some of the updated information for you. Singaporean man recalls Queen Elizabeth's visit to his home 50 years ago after Queen's death. The Queen visited Singapore once a colony of the British Empire, a total of three times in 1972, 1989, and in 2006. The 96-year-old reigned as the head of state of Britain, and 14 other Commonwealth nations lasted for over 70 years. Lim says the visit 50 years ago kindled his interest in history and cultural heritage, and now he is a researcher. So this was on the 18th of February 1972, it's more than 50 years ago. Uh, and this shows, you know, the family receiving the Queen. Uh, you can see the Queen, Princess Anne, um, Prince Philip. Uh, and that's me peeping out. Uh, you also see in this shot, you know, my mom, my dad, uh, and my little sis. And I think you notice that we all had our shoes on. Um, I think the other thing that you would notice in the photographs is that the you know, both ladies, uh, Princess Anne and the Queen, they were wearing hats. <laughs> Lim no longer lives in the same apartment, but he says the place and the memories of the visit remain close to his heart. So I do myself have a lot of respect for her, uh, about what she represents, about the values that she represents, and about a sense of duty. So I think she's given her whole life, devoted it, you know, to duty to her nation, to her people. And I think it's something that I've always respected in her as a person. Uh, and I think the fact that she visited me always made me have this special connection. So when I did hear about her passing, I was deeply saddened by it because, you know, she was such an important figure. Unit, uh, the unit that I lived in, and this is actually... The, the Queen's visit was organized six months in advance. And on the day, he and his family waited for what seemed like a long time for her to arrive. Thailand flag half mast for Queen Elizabeth's condolences. Thailand lowered its national flag at the government house in Bangkok to half mast as a mark of respect to mourn the death of Britain's Queen Elizabeth II. <laughs> I just heard the news this morning from Facebook and I'm in shock because I've been following news of the Queen and the UK monarchy for a long time because there are some similarities with the Thai monarchy. It is quite shocking because she is a world figure, but I mean, it is understandable because she is already old. <laughs> Local broadcaster TNN also reported the death of the Queen after it was confirmed by Buckingham Palace. Queen Elizabeth, Britain's longest reigning monarch, the nation's figurehead and a towering presence on the world stage for seven decades, died peacefully at her home in Scotland with age 96. At least four people died and others injured after a powerful quake in Papua New Guinea. An earthquake of magnitude 7.6 struck eastern Papua New Guinea, killing at least four people, injuries other, and damaging property and essential infrastructure. Eyewitness photos obtained by Reuters showed medical personnel airlifting injured locals, including young children from the Kaboom and Obura Wanenara districts, to receive treatment. The quake hit about 67 km or 41.6 miles east of Kainantu and 80 km or 49.7 miles northwest of Lai, northwest of Lai in the eastern Papua New Guinea region at about 9.45 am local time, but was felt some 500 km or 310 miles away in the capital of Port Moresby. The full extent of damage was not immediately clear as the location of the earthquake was remote. Earthquakes are common in PNG, which sits on the Pacific Ocean's ring of fire, a hotspot for seismic activity due to friction between tectonic plates. China expresses condolences to Britain over the death of Queen Elizabeth II. A spokeswoman of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs said China expressed deep condolences over the death of Queen Elizabeth II. Morning, the spokeswoman said that President Xi Jinping had sent a message of condolences to British King Charles III over the passing away of Queen Elizabeth II. 
Premier Li Keqiang also sent a message of condolences to British Prime Minister Liz Truss. China expressed deep condolences over the death of Queen Elizabeth II. The Queen was the first British monarch to visit China and also received a number of Chinese leaders to Britain, making an important contribution to boosting the friendship between the Chinese and British people and expanding friendly exchanges between the two countries. Queen Elizabeth II, the longest reigning monarch in British history, died at the age of 96 at the Balmoral Palace in Scotland. With the death of Queen Elizabeth II, her son Charles, 73, has now become Britain's new king. Japanese people saddened and disappointed on Queen Elizabeth's death. Japanese people mourned the passing of Queen Elizabeth II and laid flowers outside the British Embassy in Tokyo. The flag at the embassy flew at half-mast as people continued to walk up to its gates to pray and pay their respects. I feel very lonely. I feel like there is a change in era in the UK. The connection she, Queen Elizabeth II, had it with Japan's imperial family was big and she had a big influence during Japan's show era. I'm so very disappointed that she has passed away. According to the media reports that the Queen died peacefully at her Scottish home after serving as Britain's longest reigning monarch. Her son Charles automatically becomes monarch of the United Kingdom and the head of state of 14 other realms including Australia, Canada and New Zealand. Fritz in honor of the Queen lined up outside British Embassy in Indonesia. Dozens of writs sent by Indonesian officials to honor Queen Elizabeth II lined up at the perimeter of the British Embassy in Jakarta. The British ambassador to Indonesia, Owen Jenkins, was seen walking past and reading messages on those streets. The flowers behind me and along the wall of the embassy show how in Her Majesty's 70-year reign she touched ordinary people right across the world and right across the great archipelago of Indonesia. Elizabeth died on September 8 at Balmoral Castle in Scotland at the age of 96. Her state funeral will be held in London on September 19. Indonesian university students protest against rising fuel prices. Hundreds of Indonesian university students took to the streets to set tires on fire to protest against the government's recent fuel price hike decision. Similar protests were held across the country as students demanded that the fuel price hike to be revoked. The students are disappointed at the government's decision. And why have we shown up now? We have been telling the government about this fuel problem for a long time but they won't listen. Despite all the actions we have taken, the government has not considered anything to stabilize the fuel prices. Indonesia raised subsidized fuel prices by about 30% as the government moved to rein in ballooning subsidies despite the risk of mass protest. Fuel prices are politically sensitive in Indonesia and the changes will have major implications for households and small businesses. A subsidized fuel accounts for more than 80% of state-owned oil giant Pertamina sales. The last fuel price hike was made in 2014, months after Jokowi took office, sparking protests across the archipelago. Myanmar Junta chief invites foreign investment at Russia-hosted forum to invest in Myanmar. Myanmar's junta chief Ming Ohleng invited foreign businesses, mainly oil and gas, to invest in his country at Eastern Economic Forum hosted by Russia President Vladimir Putin. Myanmar is exporting agricultural products to Russia and in return, oil and energy products are being imported from Russia.
if we can do more cooperation, it will be more effective to both of us. I'm inviting the foreign investors attending this forum to invest in Myanmar as I'm making favorable opportunities for them. <laughs> Some countries use the dollar as a weapon for their financial security, and small countries are bullied by these countries. So we cannot complain politically and economically to these big countries. If so, we can use the yuan, the ruble, and the rupee on the world trade path to replace them on the US dollar. The junta has been barred from most regional summits, and in its isolation, has turned increasingly toward Russia for diplomatic support and more military hardware. Myanmar has been in turmoil since Myung Oh Leng led a coup in February 2021 against Nobel laureate Aung San Suu Kyi's government, arresting its leadership and detaining thousands of activists and protesters. And we hope you enjoyed today's presentation. We will see you again sooner. Stay safe, stay healthy, and enjoy your weekend.